Hi everyone and welcome to Craft Zone Creations Section 1, the Rainbow Loom section. Today I'll be teaching you how to make the floral star. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, this part looks like the flower and this part can be the shiny um, lines that you might draw near your star when you make a star. So this also looks like a star and a lot like a flower. So that is why I named it the floral star. So I'll be teaching you how to make this today. And to make this, you are going to need these items. You will need a finger loom. You will need 11 bands for the middle part. You will need 10 bands for the second layer, which is the blue part here. And you'll need five bands for this, these bands. And you will also need a hook. And part of it is on the finger loom. Part of it is with the finger loom using a hook because that part can be done, cannot be done without, without a hook. So these are the things that you will be needing. So now let's begin. We are going to start by making the inner layer. So you will need 15 bands, <clears throat> sorry, 11 bands for that. So you will start with one single band and you're going to choose one peg and wrap this around once to get two loops like that. Next, you're going to be placing two bands. It can be a different color, but I like using the same color. From this peg to the one across, and you will be looping the bottom two loops over into the center. Now pull this down and bring these loops over to here. Like that. And just get rid of twists or anything. And this is what you should have. Next, you are going to take the two loops of the band that we looped and you're going to put it onto the next peg. So let's say you did that over here, now you're going to do it over here. So these are the first two loops that you made. Now you take two more bands and pull them across like that. You're going to take the two loops and bring them to the middle. Then you will want to push these two down grab the ones from the opposite side and bring them here. Now with the band which will be the circle, you're going to put it here and the circle as in this band you see right here in the middle, this one. You are going to take two bands and stretch them across from the two circle band loops and bring those to the middle push this down grab the top two over here and bring them back to this side like that now we're going to do the last peg so again take the middle circle band bring it to this peg you are going to be putting two bands onto there, stretching it across to the opposite peg and just loop the bottom two over, push these two loops down, grab the top two loops over here and bring it to this side. Once that is done, you will be your finger loom should look like this. 
So the middle square band is the circle band, and these other loops are just your first layer. Now we'll be doing the second layer. For this layer, you will need your hook, your finger loom with the first layer on it, and you will need 10 bands of which two will 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 which will not be used of which two bands you will not be using right now just like these two which you might have noticed that were left behind after doing the first layer because i said you will need 11 bands but right now you only used nine that is how it's supposed to be, we'll be using these two bands later. So right now you can just take two of your second layer bands out and we'll be using these bands then and you will need your hook. Okay, so first of all, you're going to take your hook, put it through any one pegs, four layers of bands, so you'll have four loops or layers. Then you're going to take two of your second layer bands and you are going to pull them oh, whoops <laughs> you will pull those two loops through and then get the other side onto your hook now you are going to take these four off and you're going to put these four onto that peg so this can get a little tricky, but it is possible. You're just going to put these four onto the peg like that. Then you can take your hook out and fix any, any twists. So that is basically what you want to do for every single peg. You will put your your hook through all these bands. You will be taking two of your second layer bands. You will pull them through, put the other side onto your hook, and then take these off and put the second layer bands on. So you will want to pause your video right here and finish your second layer and then I will teach you how to do how to finish this off basically when completed your second layer should look something like this four loops on each peg and it will be slightly squished in here but you will be able to make out your first uh, layer pretty easily so the four petals and the circle now I'll show you how to end this off. For this part, you will need a hook, the bands that I told you um, at the beginning that you'll be needing, and I told you that you will need five, of which you are not going to use one right now, so just keep that aside with the other bands, and you are going to be needing four bands for your third layer, and you will need your finger loom. To start, you are going to put your hook through there, and just like before, you are going to take one band and pull it through, and then put the other end onto the hook. So it is almost like before, but this time you are going to be using one band instead of two. Now you are going to create a slip knot. So take the first band or first loop through the second one and you will want to tighten this just till the point where these four bands are very close together but they are not going to twist over each other and then you can tighten it so as you see they haven't exactly twisted over each other yet but this is pretty tight now you're going to go to your next one again you're going to take one band and you're going to pull it through and put the other end on your hook. You will create a slip knot and tighten like that. This one is slightly 
missed it, I guess. No, not really. So that's another one. And you are going to do the same thing for these two pegs now. Once done, all of this will look like, will look something like what I have here. And now you are going to take this off your finger loom. So just gently pull it off, petal by petal. It's very easy to do. There. Once taken off and adjusted, you will see that this resembles to the last design I taught you. Which was this. The X or plus sign charm which we then made into a bracelet so this is basically nothing but the X or plus sign charm made with two bands over here instead of one band and that is why this is more um, you could say steady while this just this is very wobbly it hardly ever stays in place well, this will stay in place because it is thicker and you could say stronger too, but we are still not done. As you will see, there is enough space for one more petal. So you are going to start by putting your hook through the middle or the circle, like this. Make sure you move all your petals out of the way. So right now your hook is just in that circle band. And you are going to take your first layer of bands, make sure there are two of them. And you, whoops, you are going to be pulling those through and putting the other loops back on to there, like that. Next, you will take your second layer of bands right here. And you are going to pull them through your first layer bands. And make sure you're using two bands each time. Like that. Now, you are going to be taking your last layer band. This time it's just one. And pull it through those. And bring the other side onto your hook. Create a slip knot by taking the first loop through the second and tightening. And there, you have a five petaled floral star. This is, as you saw, very easy to make. And I made it on the finger loom because the pegs are thicker than a normal loom so it's easier to put your hook through and pull the bands in and do things like that on the finger loom than it is to do it on a loom like the monster tail or your normal rainbow loom so here it is and I know you will be able to make this on the hook pretty easily too but I think it's more fun to do it on your finger loom than to do the whole thing on the hook but I might post a video to teach you how to do this on the hook. So just on the hook and nothing else. So that is it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel to keep up with the videos I post. I am trying to be, I will try to post one every week. And yes, that is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to you found it easy to make this and you found it fun and you found the design nice because I created this it is an original design and so I will be seeing you next time bye